Alrighty, so what I want to talk about now is another way to send uh, the link so that it stays contained and it does not go into straight over to YouTube. So if you wanted to keep it a bit private and so they don't go to YouTube and then get all, all over the place. So one of the reasons I like to keep it a little more private is so that hopefully I can get a response from people. Are you fed up with your nine to five working for someone else? Has the pandemic caused you to rethink your job, your business, and how you currently are earning money? Have you ever thought about what it would be like to start your own online business and take charge of your income and schedule, but you have no idea where to start? My name is Patty Sampson, and these are the same questions I've asked myself. Let me share with you how I switched gears from working for someone else to becoming a successful entrepreneur working from home. If you're ready to change your life, be sure to subscribe to my channel and click the notifications bell for upcoming free videos. Now let's get ready to dive into today's lesson. So the first thing I'm going to show you is how to create a blog post where you can put the video into your website. I love sending people to my website because when they go there, I can actually gain um, organic strength by Google when people come here. So one of the things you might want to consider doing is adding it to a blog post. So I'm going to go over and show you up on my site. I've already added this um, and you could go and create a blog. So this is an example of a blog that I did where I did this back in April just to show as an example for somebody. But you can add in the video right here on a blog post. So if I played this, it would stay inside my website and um, so you it, they, it wouldn't go anywhere you see so instead what we're going to do is send people to a link to our site which is great so this is one example I did another one a while back I think Martin Luther King in here um, and I can't remember if it was on this blog post or not but so what I'm going to do is show you quickly how to how to add the embed code to a blog post and then I'm going to show you another option which would be a landing page that you would send them to inside the system so Let's go back to the back end of our website. And um, when you get in here, you're going to go over to your web and uh, IDX area. You're going to click on blog and then you're going to basically add a post. So um, from here, again, I'm dragging myself all over the place here. Um, from here, what I'm going to do is look for this source code. So this one here, I'm going to go ahead and go happy Halloween, right? Someone's trying to reach me on my phone, so I'm probably going to have to put you on pause for a minute. Um, but let, I'm going to go to Happy Halloween, and then what we're going to do, we need to track the embed code down on uh, the video and add the embed code here. So we'll do that. So what we're going to do is just go over to the video. Let's go to the video. And um, you want to be on the video, and the easiest way to get the embed code is to just right-click on it and then copy the embed code. So this is the code that we're going to... Uh, put inside of the landing page or basically the blog post. So I'll go back over to here and you could type up anything right here you want to, you know, um, you know, happy Halloween to all of my, uh, to all, uh, to all, oops, all of our fabulous clients something along those lines and then what you want to do is click right here where it's uh, source code and you've already got it here so you could hit return and then go like that you're just gonna paste it in I just hit control V and pasted it in on my Windows um, but just paste in that code and that's what the code looks like so when I hit OK um, it will just pop right in here see how that looks and that is it so down here then you're just you can add more stuff you can do other things in here I'm not going to get too fancy right now but this is really all I'm going to do so you can see how it goes now I'm just going to go ahead and publish it now and now what you're going to have is if I go back out to my website and I refresh it that blog should now that new blog should be here I hope <laughs> so if I go to blog my new blog hopefully will show up um, when I go to blog Okay, so I've been waiting. It takes a little time in in, in uh, EXP KV Core to reset this. Uh, so I think what it does is the websites update after a few minutes. So this isn't actually ready yet to go, but uh, you can see because I've gone in and the video is showing up and I ended up having to go in and edit the size of this so it doesn't show up behind this. So this is the thing about putting it in the blog 
is that you're going to have it here with this search thing. So there's a plus and a minus to that. If you want it to go that way, that's great. They can then come straight over to the blog and be able to run a search. Um, but in this case, you want to make sure that the video is not too big. So I did go in and edit the size of the video in this case because of the way it came out in the code. Uh, so it's going to, I'm going to come back and check it later, but it, I, I've already changed it. Now I'm just waiting for it to upload and get into the right size here. So it's on the site. It's ready to go. So, but I did want to show you another way to do this. Um, so I'm going to go over to the video and you, do you see this little part here? This is the description right here of the actual um, link. So I'm going to actually copy that because I'm going to show you another way to do this that you might like even better with inside of KV Core. If you go over to your KV Core and go over to your lead engine area, uh, then you can go over to building a landing page. So, but you need to select a domain. Of course, I've got mine here. I'll go ahead and start building it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick out one of these landing pages that I want to build it in. So there's one over here that says video view, video plus lead. I'm just going to go ahead and use the video view one. And what we're going to do right here, you say the YouTube ID, you're going to place the YouTube ID in there and watch how that changed. Look at that. Okay, but really, do you want all this to go looking like this? Um, I'm going to change this. I'm just going to, and so this is this was what I figured I'd do. Happy Halloween. And then I'm going to do a free weekly list. And I'm going to say from your friendly neighborhood real estate specialists. Okay. We'll just come up with something you want to put. That's fine. Okay. And I could put AZ Excellence Team because that's the name of my team here in Scottsdale. Now, what I'm going to do with these. Now, the problem is these little checks don't come off of here. So I'm just going to go in here and go, um, ha have a wonderful night. Wonderful and fun evening. And then I'm actually not going to put anything right here. I'm going to get rid of that altogether. And then here I'm going to go, um, don't uh, uh, stay safe and enjoy your family time, right? Something like that. You can put whatever you want in here. Over here I might say something about Halloween is our favorite time of year and then get rid of this you can put something there if you want to and then you could say something about um uh enjoy let's see have let's see uh spooky and uh Pumpkin y fun. How about that? I'm just making up something. Pumpkin y fun, <laughs> as if that's a word. <laughs> All right, we're going to get rid of that too. Now, what do you do? There's a button down here. So, your choice is you can not let them know this is a button because you're going to have an option up here at the top of the screen to put some text down there. So, you could just put Happy Halloween here if you want, if you do that then they probably won't ever click on that. Now, if you wanted to, you could put something about um, uh, click for market updates. Okay, so you could do something along those lines. And, and if they want to get those market updates, then what you're going to need to do is send them somewhere after they sign up. So they're going to click there if you're going to tell them to click there. Otherwise, you could just put Happy Halloween. They won't even know it's a button. But you do want to redirect them somewhere. So if you're going to provide a market update, realize that what we want to do is get people to sign up. So even though they might be on our mailing list, we still want them to request the report. So we don't want to just send them the report. You do want to create one. If you're going to get one, you're going to offer it. So I'm going to go ahead and leave this button here. But what I chose to do was to go over to uh, a landing page area and build a landing page. So for those of you who don't know me, I actually have my own CRM company and I have a landing page that I actually built just for this. <laughs> so I went ahead and created this inside of my personal CRM and then someone can fill out the, fill out the form and get it sent right into my CRM. Now you can go in ahead of time and I might suggest you do this 
If you want to try to build it inside a KV core, you're going to want to do it. What I, why I'm not doing it here right now is because unfortunately, once you build your landing page in here in KV core, you cannot edit it. So I did not want to leave this area and lose an opportunity to continue using this landing page, unfortunately. So watch when I hit save, because right now I'm all good with this landing page. I like it. I'm going to hit save and notice what it's saying. You will not be able to save or edit this page. When you click OK, it'll be directed to your landing page that you'll just, you've just recreated. Once there, please bookmark or save the link from that page and use the links at the top left. So once it's done, there's no editing to it. So um, it will still do all the things it's supposed to do, but it's just a little bit of a challenge here because this thing is not uh, going to send it where I want it to go if I don't go and edit and have it ready. So your choice would be to go build another landing page you could build out of this list over here. Let me hit cancel here so we can go. Go ahead of time and build another landing page for something else. Uh, and if you want it to be market updates or whatever, just build something for it. And it would probably be a lead generation landing page. And then grab the URL to that and plug it in up here. In my case, I just went ahead and built it inside of my other CRM. And this is, oops, this is the, this is my CRM. Um, and this is where it's going to go. So, uh, you can put any link in here, but if you want to collect names off this button, then you need to have a landing page where they're going to fill it out. So that's a whole nother lesson in itself. So stay tuned for stuff like that. But, uh, so that's, that's, my um, suggestion on this. Okay, so whoops, let's get that shut off. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and save this so I can get the URL off of it. Hit OK. And it's providing me a URL. So I see this up here. This is the URL that we're going to use that we're going to put into the um, email template. So what I need to do is save this. I'm going to open another little window up and pull this up live. And here's what the landing page looks like now. This is the live version of it. And it's pretty cool. I mean, I, I could go in and edit this image back here and all that fun stuff. I didn't do that. You could put Halloween image back there, whatever. I didn't do all that, but you certainly could. Uh, cause this is what was there. I actually kind of like that face on there. It's kind of scary looking. Happy Halloween. <laughs> and, uh, so this is another way to do it. All right. So now we have a URL that is for this landing page. And so here's how this landing page is really the video. So it's going to play here just like the other one inside. That's the key. It's playing. And you, what you want to do is email this out to people. So you're going to grab the URL from this landing page, which I showed you, right? And then we're going to add it to the video now, or to the, to the, the video email we were creating. So if I go back over here and get back in, I need to go back into my, um, let's see, where were we at? We were at the marketing autopilot area, right? And we need to go back to the email that I was working on. So you go back to start a campaign and I need to go back to the template so I can show you another way to do this. So I'm going to uh, redo the, I could maybe copy the one I have here and create another one, but let's just get this, these templates. I'm going to type in Halloween here so I can find the template that I had. Oh, if I could spell Halloween right, it might work. Okay. Halloween. There we go. I'm good. Uh, let's go ahead and clone this one. I'm going to, let's just clone it. And now what I'm going to do is change it instead of sending it straight over to the video over there. I am going to actually put an image here instead. Okay. So let's watch. So here's where the video was that was originally set to go in. Instead, I'm going to take this here and put an image in. And what I want to do, let me go to the settings really quick. I want to take a screenshot now of this thumbnail. So uh, what I might want to do to make this easier is, let's see, I might go over to the actual video. Let's see if I can find it. Here it is. I might want to go to the video here and um, just go straight to the link and the video's playing, will play. We want to take a screenshot of the video right there. Stop it. Now I have screenshot shot software. I use Jing. It's called Jing or, uh, and so, um, I'm just going to go, if you can see it, I'm taking a screenshot of this and it's going to be turned into a capture the image and I'm going to just save it on my desktop. 
I know it's not, this is really not that hard, you guys. It might seem like it's a lot of work, but it's really not. I'm, right now, I'm just going to save it on my desktop. I'm just going to call it Halloween uh, a thumbnail, right? Just so I have it and hit save. Okay, and then set that down. Okay, so now I have that and it's done, so I can just cancel that. I don't need this anymore. Can close the preview, done. Okay, so I've, I've captured a screenshot of it. So now what I'm gonna do is go back over to the email I was working on, where'd it go? Right there. And what I'm gonna do, let me go to the settings and make this smaller so I can see. So I need to get rid of this one. I don't need this, so I'm gonna come here and dump this one in the trash. Just delete that. And don't worry about this, because sometimes these just don't wanna disappear. So they're not gonna do anything to your email. Just leave it here. But we're going to add a video, I mean an image here instead. So let's go to Browse. And I'm going to upload that image that I just took a screenshot of in my uh, my desktop. So let's go here on my desktop and grab the Halloween thumbnail and bring it in. And then once we bring that in, you know, once you set this up one time, you can use these emails over and over again. So that's what you have to remember is the work you're putting in today is going to be great because you'll be able to use it again. So if you create a few of these, you'll have it. Now look, this still looks like an amazing video because it's got the, the button here and all that. But what we're going to do is click on the image right now. And you need to then say, I'm going to hyperlink this to the landing page where they're going to go see the video, which is this. So I'm coming here and I'm getting the URL link to that landing page where they're going to watch the video, right? And whoops, see, okay, okay. And then we're going to go back to the email we were working on. I had too many things open here, you guys. And um, we need to hyperlink that. So if I click right on the image, I'm gonna, now you'll notice up here, this is the URL to the image. You don't wanna mess with that. You're gonna go down here though and go image link, open to a web page. And you're gonna click on that. And it's gonna open to, that when someone clicks on it. Okay, so I'm going to send this to myself. Everything else is staying the same. Now I'm just going to go ahead and click on down here. It says clone because I made a copy of it. I'm just going to go ahead and clone this. And now I've got a whole separate version of it in here. It's the second version of it. So that's the one I'm going to send to myself now. And let's see the difference of what it's going to look like when we send it. So I'm back over in my smart CRM. I'm going to pull myself up here and I'm going to send myself an email. It's that easy. Go over here and send an email and we just need to find it in here. So I can just go here and type in Halloween. So I've got two. I'm going to use the copy this time, obviously, and let it load up and let's send it to me and let's see how it looks. Send. I could edit it at this point, by the way, too, if I wanted to. So let's go, let's go see if it shows up in the inbox. Alrighty. So I'm inside my inbox because I did, I marked it as not spam. It's now showing up in my inbox. <laughs> so this is what the second one now looks like. So let's see how that looks. So let's see the difference. So when I click on this now, what it's going to do is watch this. It's going to send it over to my video landing page that I created. And now it's all buried in here and I'm not sending them over to YouTube. So you have all these different choices. If I wanted to in that email, I could have sent them over to the blog page that I was showing you as well. Uh, in fact, let's go see if that blog page refreshed yet. I don't know if it did. Uh, it's so annoying that it takes so long when you create things in here that it takes time. And then you think you didn't do it right. Yeah, so I was trying to resize this. This may or may not be the best solution. If you're really just trying to send somebody a video type holiday thing, I'm not sure that I would want all this search stuff here because all of a sudden it looks like you're trying to market to them. Um, but if you're trying to promote a listing in a video email, this may be a great thing. Um, or maybe you're promoting, you know, something real estate related, then having the search here is not a bad thing. But you got to be sure that the code is going to fit. I don't know why for some reason the code on this one, I'm still, maybe it just hasn't updated because I have gone into the blog post to try to make this video. I just went in and changed the size of the video. It still hasn't taken. So of course it's still back here. But if I played it, it's still playing. It's just a little bit too big for the screen. So just heads up on that if you decide to use it. When you add it to a blog post, 
versus you could even add it to a page if you wanted to create a page. And uh, I didn't do all that, obviously, but you could. And um, again, you know, totally up to you where you're going to send these people. I really kind of like this landing page idea, though. I think this landing page idea worked really well. And so now we know that it all works. So you have two different ways to send it. Um, you either send them straight over to YouTube or you build some page to put them in and you can do it all right here. Uh, if you choose not to use this as a live button, just don't say anything about clicking on it and they won't probably click on it because uh, this is the restrictions of KV Core that you have right now. Um, if you want to do it like this, you know, uh, then this is a great option. I thought, I thought it was kind of cute. <laughs> So, all right, folks, uh, hope, hope you like this. And if you have any more ideas on kind of things you want to learn to do, um, I may not know how to do it right now, but I'll figure it out. <laughs> all right, we'll talk to you later. Thanks so much for joining me today. Have a good one. We'll see you in the next video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and click the notifications bell for upcoming free videos.